we've we've done segments on this before in the state of American animation and how dull crap it is. Um, and it should be embarrassing for these guys. I know some people blame it on the whole Cal Art stuff. Um, and maybe that's a part of it. It looks like even with DC's kind of going in that direction, though they had been doing a decent job. They had a decent run there, uh, particularly with their animated movies there. But I, I, I don't know. It, it's like, whereas to anime, as an example, um, which uh, continues to grow in the West and continue to, to, continues to grow in, in America, and it's not just with whether or not they're accurate or, or, or not with, with their comparisons to the mar manga, though they are uh, way more definitely in comparison to what we deal with uh, out here when we see a live action or animated adaptation of a comic book. It seems they care more about the continuity and things looking and, and, and feeling like they do in either the manga or anime and vice versa. But anime, not excuse me, uh, animated shows film it's just in a terrible spot now and i guess the golden question is why and i would like to get your thoughts on that i've uh, my suggestion and I, I look i know the easy thing is to say is that okay look they have people that have no passion in this sort of these projects and yeah we can talk about social justice but it's beyond that because not even yeah we get the material itself right the, the goofy there hasn't really been Let's say this. There's not that many animated anything, really, that's come out. There's a few that you can point to that will transcend a generation, right? For example, Batman, the animated series. And I have to go to the comic book stuff because it's personal to me, though it's absolutely not uh, limited to that because, you know, throughout the 90s, there were plenty of stuff that, would, that you could pick up and you can watch right now when it's solid. But, you know, Batman, the animated series, for example, uh, X-Men, the animated series, which actually is better watching that as an adult than you watching it now. And, you know, we did get some insight. I would encourage you guys to go watch that episode of 4K and Sec where we talk to Erica and Julia Leewood. Uh, they were the sh uh, showrunners and writers of X-Men, the animated series. And we talked to them and they one of the things they brought up was how they never wanted to write down to the to the audience. So, yes, this may appear on, let's say, Fox Kids or something, but they never wanted to write down to that audience. And that's why it transcends uh, 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 generations and why it will it will be relevant. And you look at obviously some of the old stuff, Hanna Barbara, all that stuff uh, that again you pick up if you were watching Boomerang. I, I went through a stand. It's funny. I went to a stand at one point where I was watching like Bo Boomerang, and that was all I was watching because it was just it was just solid. It was just, that stuff was just solid, solid stuff. So to me, it's it's not just in the subject matters or something. Yeah, we know Cartoon Network. They're <laughs> It's it it's not good. Okay, uh, they are. Yeah, we know they do the social justice stuff. They're funneling through Steven Universe and uh, universes of the world. It's it's pretty freaking terrible, right? Um, I, I will concede that. But even with the the like how it looks, right? The actual art itself, it's not it's not very good, right? Yes, we have the cow art stuff. And it seems like everybody's sort of copying off of off, off of that. And that seems to be the direction. But what you're getting with a lot of the animation, you know, and look, yeah, I know there's animations that have been around that are solid, that are always going to be solid, like the South Parks of the world, for example. Uh, but you but you get what I'm saying. I'm talking about more recent renditions. They're not timeless, if you will. And and, and you look at. Anime, for example, and it's it's thrilling, it's. It looks like some shit that obviously took time to make, but I don't think a lot of people that watch, uh, or not watch, maybe you are, are a part of like the creation. I think that's why a lot of the cow, cow art stuff had become uh, kind of more attractive. And I think that they look at it like, okay, well, the easiest w route that we can take to put it out, whether it be we don't draw it, we do whatever it is that we need to do to make sure or rather ensure that this is done in the quickest time frame so we can get it out to our audience. And I guess they don't think that we look at it and we don't analyze that and we can't tell that that shit, you didn't put a whole lot of time or you're just trying to copy off of whatever, what other folks are, are doing. And they, I guess they think that we don't see that as the customer or the consumer 
and it and it, and it matters. You see what I'm saying? Well, as to me, and I can I'll, I'll speak for myself, and I know people that agree with me. I can tell when you're not putting passion in your project. We've talked about this before, example, with comic books and modern comic books, even with the independent ones. Like you got to package your shit in a way that makes people thrilled um, and enthusiastic about your brand. And if you ain't into, if, if you half ass putting something out then how else am I supposed to analyze that? Right? How else am I supposed to look at that when I see that your fight scenes or some shit is just some it's just, ooh, it's goofy, let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? It's just so, it's, it's goofy. You don't even put any, you don't even try. We can see that, you know? And you see stuff like, you know, Attack on Titan, for example, and it's just, the animation in that in that anime is fucking incredible for lack of better terms but we see that so in addition to the other stuff that's associated with yeah it's like you know when you're dealing with with animation it's everything from the voice actors on down it's something that you have to all it, it, to make that perfect sort of storm and to come out with a, with a good show all that's a part of it but where like the american stuff and this is what I've analyzed definitely recently. Again, the, I will say that DC they had they had a run there where they were a lot of the animated stuff that they were doing was really really good um, in the last like say decade and some change. I, I will not lie about that. That is that is a represent. But have you, for example, you seen that goofy ass Modoc shit? What is it on Hulu? I watched I watched a little bit of it the other day, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Like, what am I watching? Like, what, what, how, and I'm looking at that like, what the fuck am I going to watch that, Mo, this Moldock shit, and I'm, I, is this something that I'm going to pick up, let's say, 10 years after the fact? Fucking of course not. I'm not interested in that. Like, that's not going to transcend any generation. Yeah, here we are. It's got to be embarrassing to be not just a comic book creator. It should be. As well as a, whether it be an animator. And I'm not I'm not saying that there aren't talented. There has to be. Y'all spend all this money to go to these damn schools. There has to be talented people. But in terms of the investments that you're seeing coming from the guys who generally put out animated work. It's simply not on par with the Japanese right now. Not just in, in, in content. Even like Japanese and they fucking goofy ass, like not even goofy, like they leave fucking basketball animes fucking look cold as fuck. And it's like you have no in between. It's like you got this definitely with DC uh, outside of that, that little uh, animated universe that they have for a little bit. But they have like this uber childish shit, right? Like uber childish, like it's crazy childish. And then they got the like the crazy like raunchy shit stuff that you see on like really goofy shit on uh like adult uh, 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 adult swim. And some of that stuff is okay, and some of it is some of it is okay. And then some of it's just like fuck am I watching, man? Like you mean to tell me there's no like there's no sweet spot? There's got to be one or the other. And I don't think so. And it, it wasn't. It wasn't at one point. You could get up in the 90s, for example, and you could watch shit that was just solid. X-Men the Animated Series is better. Again, why, I'd encourage you to go watch it if you can as an adult. And I promise you it's better. It's even better than what you saw, what you were looking at before. Same thing with Batman. Same thing hell with Spider-Man. Even that Silver Surfer shit was, wasn't that bad. The Americans got to step it up. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Canon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.